This video is about putting together some nursery art and decor. So the first thing I did was buy a handful of different frames from thrift stores and I found these animal patterns at Ikea. This was in the as is section so they were a dollar. Um, so I just cut all of the pieces out and kind of lined them up in the frames um, based on how they fit together and I wanted to have a variety of color and, and different animals. So I put everything together and laid it all out the way I wanted it and then I started cleaning and taking apart all of the frames. All of the colors that I used were pastel colors. They're also paints I had from previous projects and or from the mistinted paints at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I like to go through those sections just to see what cheap paints they have available. And I usually find some pretty decent colors as you'll see going through here. Um, I found a lot of colors that were perfect for a baby room. For example, this purple color was from a hardware store's wrongly colored or mistinted section and I got it for 50 cents. So with it being a sample size, it was the perfect size for a small project like this and I still have some left over for another small project and it cost me 50 cents. So always check your hardware store's mistinted paint section. The next step was creating a plain white background for all of the animals to sit on. So I got some plain white poster board and started tracing out the size of the frames and then cutting out the proper size. The animal prints I got from Ikea were basically large stickers so I just had to peel off the back and stick them on the white poster board. Um, they had a clear trim around the actual color of the animal so I really pressed down around there because you could get some air bubbles in there. So I just kept going over the edge to make sure all the air bubbles were gone and it was a nice smooth look. Another cheap way to get an animal print like this is just to go online and find a uh, a design that you like and print it out and frame it. And here is our wall of animals. We went with the animal theme because of this mural that we put on the back wall with a bunch of animals in hot air balloons. The next piece of nursery decor that I worked on was this house frame. This was given to me for free from a friend. I knew I wanted to use it in the baby's room, but I didn't want to leave it white. So I gave it a good cleaning. And then I started out with a base coat of rust oleums chalked uh, paint and aged gray. Getting to all the little corners of the inside areas here was not super easy, but um, after three coats, everything had a really good solid coverage. For each section of the inside of the house frame, I used a different color for the back wall space. Um, I used all of the colors that I used on the frames so that they would match. And then the gray color, um, you'll see later, I used that gray color on the crib and the changing table. So all of the colors in the nursery tie in together. To paint the section, um, again, it's a little bit difficult to get all the corners nice and neat, but I did use some small uh, craft paint brushes to get in there. Um, and then I just went over each section with a different color. 
And then to fix all of the little paint mistakes on the inside, I found an even smaller little cat craft paintbrush and went over carefully, very carefully, I went over all of the, the mistake colors in the gray paint to give everything a nice clean look. In the end, it became cute storage area for some of her little stuffed animals and adorable little shoes. 